My project is based on Ed Zelf's internet radio. They've done a really good job. At this point I'd like to thank him that. He has detailed description about the CSP32 internet radio, including the features like infrared remote control, rotary switch control, serial input control, web server control, SD card usage, multiple display options, software update over the air and a lot of others. Also he created a PDF description about how to put things together and he even offers main PCB for the project. Sounds like a simple project, but actually it's quite challenging. The microcontroller, in this case ESP32, has to do one operation continuously and the other operations can be done when it has time during the main operation. The main operation is to stream the audio from the internet radio station and send it to the audio decoder. This is not an easy task. I don't explain the procedure now, you can find a lot of other YouTubers who explain this. But more features you add to the internet radio, less time you will have to stream the audio data and suddenly you reach the point where the other tasks take too much time to execute and the music will stop. The big advantage with ESP32, it has dual core, so one core can stream the audio data and the other core can deal with the other tasks. The software must be well organized and better to use real-time operating system to deal with the tasks on both cores. I've designed earlier a TFT PCB with FT810 video processor and I wanted to use this uh, PCB. Also I wanted to add weather station as well. So I needed to add extra bits to his code without disturbing the main function. I tried to interfere as less as possible with his code. To read the weather condition online I chose the moment when he reads the current time from time server. I chose the openweathermap.org website. Also you can find a lot of other YouTubers who explain how to use their service. On my website you can read why I built my version of the internet radio, but as always I needed to customize the project for my needs. To add my TFT was more challenging, but luckily Edzelf created a dummy TFT part in his code to add more TFT solutions and this is what I used. I described how to initialize the FT810 coprocessor, so nothing else left but to write code to the display look. Unfortunately this project has been done before I created my YouTube channel, so there is no video about how I made the box, but I disassembled it for you to see how the parts are built and connected. Let's see the parts. The ESP32 board is the Lolin32 development board. For the input and output I didn't design PCB, I just use a PCB strip board. Maybe in the future if I will have more time I will design a proper PCB for it. But this board also includes a power input from 9 to 24 volts. This is the audio transformer to reduce noise from ESP32. And this is the class D amplifier, in this case PAM8610.
Here is my earlier designed TFT PCB with the FT810 video processor. It has support for touch and audio, but I don't use these in this project. I needed to implement this code into his code, including all the pinouts. One of my first designs, it took me a while to, to design this, um, but it works well. And the pinout for the board. Here is the VS1053 MP3 decoder. This will receive the audio data from uh, ESP32 through the SPI communication port. It's a stereo device with 3.5mm jack output. It has even microphone but uh, it's not used in this project. This is the rotary switch. I didn't remove it because it was quite difficult to put it in place. Uh, it's quite nice switch actually. First time I used it but I, I like it. Uh, here is the speaker. Two way 45 watts, 4 ohm. Uh, leftover from previous projects obviously. Uh, quite nice looking. In the bottom right corner there is the infrared receiver for the remote control and here is the power cord and the speaker port tube. It turned out to add an external Wi-Fi aerial increases the reliability of the connection. I added the external area later but here are some pictures I've done this. And here is the final look, but don't go too far forward. Let's see how I put them together.
here it is. Let's turn it on. Unfortunately, I cannot broadcast any copyright music because the YouTube is checking all the audio of each video. And if they find a few seconds copyright music, I will be in trouble. So please forgive me that uh, you can't listen any uh, live radio broadcasting, but uh, trust me, it's just working fine. As you see, there is the weather data like wind speed and direction, temperature and sun or moon or rain in the middle correspond to the outside uh, weather condition. Also the current time is in the top right corner and in the middle of the screen is the radio station details with the artist and the song. At the bottom of the screen there are extra informations for me about the device status. The remote control and the rotary switch works as it should. Just close the box to see the whole project together. You can find some links for more information in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you later.